Hey sports fans and car enthusiasts, welcome to the channel. We continue our Tops Turn Back the Clock series with 1986 Tops. I'm holding in my hands here five wax packs of 1986 Tops. There's some cool cards in here for sure. This is at the height of when I was collecting for sure. Uh, it's really when I was, uh, I think I think I had the most of these cards out of any of the cards I ever collected. But we're right in the middle of the 80s now, 1986. Mets won the World Series. This is a pretty cool year. We're going to get into it right now. Hit it. All right, folks. The 86 cards were iconic for me. I love these cards. However, there's not a lot of value in, the, in here. We are looking for... An Ozzy Gian rookie card, maybe a Cecil Fielder rookie card, and there are a lot of star cards here. You know, Clemens probably being the most valuable, but you know, there's some other ones. You know, you Daryl Strawberries, your Nolan Ryan's for sure. Um, you know, some cool iconic cards. So let's pop into '86 tops right now. Hopefully, the gum isn't too terrible, and I can eat it without you know coming down with a contagious disease. Bruce Benedict is on the back, on the front, and got the gum. Or actually, on the back front, got the gum, is Brian Downing. But we're going to start right here with the Giants leaders card. There we go. Followed by Steve Murrah. Mike Jeffcoat. There's a nice George Brett. There we go. Star card kicking us off there. 1986 tops George Brett. That's pretty cool. That's a hit for sure. Mark Clear. Alejandro Pena behind him, and he's like he's kind of stuck to the gum card. Yes, he is. Alejandro Pena, a little bit of paper loss. Brian Downing with the terrible gum there. We'll set that aside, see if we can peel this gum off. All right, there's some gum chunks for you. Brian Downing was the gum card. Behind him, the propaganda card here. It's Frank Viola, always liked that card. Dickie Thon, hated Dickie Thon. Hated that guy. Dave Kingman behind him. Hey, look, there's a Dwight Gooden star card. That's cool. A little mini hit for Dwight. That's a cool card. Willie Wilson behind him. Mike Heath. Look at that. Pete Rose. That's not bad either. Got a nice Pete Rose. With a little the little slightly warped there, but uh, still a nice Pete, warp, Pete Rose card. Actually, it's not really warped. It's just... Is it warped? Yeah, no, nope, nope, that's a little warped. That's a little... A little on the bendy side because of that gum, I think. But uh, Pete Rose there, pretty cool card. Bruce Benedict behind him wraps up pack number one. Pack number two going in. Oh, I see a Hojo on the back there. That's always a card I liked. On the other back, or the gum back, we got Lee Lacey. So let's see. Turn these around. We'll see what we get out of here. 86 packs were notorious for the gum really warping the cards. Uh, did a lot of damage here. Dave Sachs, Gary Matthews behind him. There's our checklist. Probably my favorite looking checklist of any of the checklists that Topps produced. I don't know why I like that one. It just had a very 1980s computer feel to it. I don't know. Liked it. There's Joe Necro. Mark Sullivan behind him. Flipping these around again. Mike Brown with those awesome Pirates hats of the 80s. I loved those Pirates hats. And he is stuck to the gum card, so we'll set these aside. Peel Mike Brown off of Lee Lacey, who took the gum. Look at that stain. Wow. That is something else. Gum embedded itself into Lee Lacey, although it comes off pretty good. That might be the one we eat. I don't know. We'll see. Lee Lacey definitely warping that all to hell. There's a propaganda card. Oh, I saw some stars in there. There's Ricky Henderson. We'll call it, uh, it's not much of a hit, but a little ding for Ricky. Pat Tabler, but there's a hit. There's a nice hit for sure. Cal Ripken, 19, and that's actually a nice looking card. Not too damaged, not too warped. It's got a little tiny ding on that little thing right there, probably from somebody grabbing the pack, but other than that, that's a sharp looking card. So Cal Ripken, certainly our, maybe our best hit so far. Alan Ashby behind him. Frank White of the Royals after him. Dwayne Murphy of the A's, Paul Rungi, and Hojo on the back. Oh, that sucks that he has the, you know, the little ding there as well. But I always like the Hojo card. Loved Howard Johnson, one of my favorite players. Cool card indeed. All right. 
Pack number three of five. Moving in, seeing what we get. We got Rick Cerrone on the back. On the front gum back is, ooh, Mike Jones. Got it. All right. We're going to start off with Denny Gonzalez of the Pirates. Alan Nicely. Al Oliver. Randy St. Clair. Jeff Lathy. John Candelaria. He took the brunt of the gum along with, I think it was uh, Mike Jones here. We'll see if we can peel that aside without doing too much damage, although these are clearly common, so I'm not too worried. John Candelaria. Mike Jones. You can see the deep impact of the gum there. Wow. Woo. Mike Jones took the gum. That gum also pretty well embedded. We'll pull that off. Relieve Mike Jones of his gum shackles. There is the propaganda piece. Moose Haas after him. There's a nice Kirk Gibson card. Followed by Dave Henderson. Hall of Famer Lee Smith. Doug DeSensei. Dennis Lamp. There's Roger McDowell. Great closer with the Mets. And Rick Cerrone was on the back. Two packs left. Let's see. Haven't found a fielder or again yet. But we've gotten a lot of stars, so I'm feeling pretty good so far about our 86 sojourn here. On the back, looks like the Cardinals team card got the gum. There's the propaganda piece. We'll get that out of the way. Pat Clements, and again, the amazing Pirates hats of the 80s. Brian Harper with the Cardinals. There's Tony Phillips. There it is. Cecil Fielder rookie card. That's pretty cool. That's a hit. It's well off center, so... You know, not, not going to grade well if he were to grade it, but that is one of the two kind of iconic rookie hits from this year. So, so if a rookie card, that's a hit. George Foster, oh, the unfortunate case of George Foster in the Mets. He did not, eh, he had a tumultuous time being a Met. Uh, Buddy Bell follows him. He is stuck to the gum card, which is the Cardinals leader's card. Let's see if we can pry that off there. There's Buddy Bell. Oh, yeah, it's Woody Herzog there. Whitey, whoo, took the gum right in the kisser. There he is, Whitey Herzog. There's the gum. Oh, that's breaking into bits. We'll pull that off as delicately as we can. Whitey and the Cardinals team leaders cards get that. The rest of this pack includes Gary Maddox, Gene Garber, Tom Nito. There's a nice Fred Lynn, Tom Waddell, Mike Stenhouse. Don Baylor and Bob McClure rounds us out. One pack left. Can we hit both of the big hits here? Can we get again? We'll see. I would love again. I'd love a Nolan Ryan. We've already gotten some good hits in Ripken and Rose. George Brett. Gooden's second year card. We got the gum on the back. It's falling apart of a checklist. Oh, that's that's some bad gum there. That's putting I'm putting that squarely in the don't eat pile. And that is just, you know, I'm not even going to try to get the rest of that off. We do have a turn back the clock. Roger Maris one. That's pretty cool. Not a huge hit, but I uh, always like these turn back the clock cards. Jeff Barkley of the Indians follows him. Ron Mathis of the Astros. Mitch Webster. Rich Gidman. Gritty player he was. Cubs team leader cards. He is a join to the checklist, which took the brunt of it. Of the gum. And our last cards are the Propaganda card, Steve Sachs, Rob Wilfong, Bill Caudill, Al Cowens, Rance Monix, Jamie Kokenauer, puts the lime in the Kokenauer, Don Carmen, and Gary Pettis rounds us out, his uh, fourth year card, I believe. So you can see... You know, I don't know if it was bigger gum, the way they packaged it, whatever. Every time I open up 86 packs, you see what these cards look like. Maybe this got warped over the years, but it's almost impossible to find a pack of 86 cards that doesn't do this. Yes, there's this one piece of gum in there, but it's bowing far beyond that. So 86 cards are tough, man. You just can't get these in really pristine condition. Or if you do, it's you're pulling them off a pack that was, you know, in some humid, you know, you know, humidor or you know, hermetically sealed somehow that it didn't have this bowing effect to it. 86 is always do those, and I'm not sure what the deal is. But certainly not a strikeout on this one. We got a Cecil. We did get 
One of the two iconic cards. That's a field of rookie card. Got a super nice Cal Ripken there. Nice Ricky Henderson. Super nice Pete Rose. Got a nice Dwight Gooden and George Brett. So a lot of star cards and one iconic rookie card from 86. So there you go, folks. There's 1986 tops. Be sure to leave your comment below. Uh, tell us what you thought of you know this episode. And like I said, if you leave a comment on, you know, for every comment that you leave on every video, um, at least one comment per video, you get entered in for a chance to win one of two pretty cool prize packages at the end of this. We might give away a Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card. Who knows? We might give away some other cool, iconic 80s tops cards. We might give away some true vintage as part of it. Still not sure what those prize packages are going to look like yet, but you won't want to miss your chance to enter. So be sure to leave a comment. If you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe to this video and uh, look forward to the next in this series, which will be 1985 Tops. As we turn back the clock to 1980s Tops, continue the series. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you for the next episode.